All right guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna be showing a very cool David Blaine torn and restored type card trick. My friend actually sent me a video a while ago on Instagram of David Blaine performing this trick and I figured it would be um, cool to show here on the channel. So I'm not exactly 100% sure when this video will be uploaded because my computer is in the shop, but I still wanted to film it for you um, so you guys can watch this. But um, anyways, hope everybody's having a good time with their friends and family. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, and soon, Happy New Year. So anyways, guys, here is the video of David Blaine. It wasn't that one. I didn't say it would. Oh, okay. Be honest, what was your call? A six. A six? Yeah. That one, right? Yeah. yeah. So you know what happened? Basically, this was... But what was the right one? It was this... The, this was the right one. Okay, so I know the video kind of starts in the middle of his trick, but that's exactly where the video starts, so we can't really go back and find the beginning, but I'm going to go ahead and give you guys um, some suggestions for how you can start the trick and do it from start to finish, um, just like he did. So, to begin, you just need to have two duplicate cards. In this case, I have just two, two of diamonds, um, and don't worry about the... Don't worry about the writing, this is from a different trick, so that doesn't mean anything here. So take two cards, two duplicates, and put them just right on top of the deck. So once you have your two cards on top, um, you're going to want to force one of the duplicates. So in this case, you can do a slip force. The spectator says stop whenever they want. Let's say they say stop right here. You give them out the card, and they stop exactly at the two. So I'll leave a link on the screen for the slip force. Um, however you want, just get them one of the twos. And during this point, you know, you're not going to be able to see what card it is, but you're going to tell them, like, you know, we can put it into the middle of the deck. You actually do put it right into the middle. And that's it. You know, you can actually lose this card because it is just a random. It's just the card that you forced. You already know what it is. The other one is on top. Now, where the video starts is he it looks like he does a double lift. Okay, so he takes over two cards and shows the spectator. And she goes, oh, you know, that's not my card. But in reality, he flipped over two cards and the two of diamonds is actually underneath. So he does the double lift. She goes, that's not my card. He flips it back over, takes the top card, which is actually one of the duplicates. And for all intents and purposes, let's say that this is a ripped up. I don't want to rip this card, but he rips up this card. Okay. And he puts it into her hand. All right. So this card is ripped up and it's in her hand. And then he goes, okay, sorry. What, what exactly was your card? Be honest. What was it? So then he goes through the deck. He finds the card, the spectator's card, which is the two of diamonds. Okay. And it looks like he cuts away from the from the camera for a moment. You can't necessarily see what he's doing. Um, but he puts this card, the spectator's card, into the second position from the top. So however he does it, okay, it's not actually clear because he kind of goes out of the camera zoom or the focus. It goes into the second position of the deck. So I'm going to give you guys a suggestion for how you can do this yourself. So there's multiple methods, but I think the best way to do it, you know, one of the best ways to do it is definitely the Marlowe tilt. So this is where you show your spectators, you know, you can show them their card. You can explain to them that you're going to put it into the middle, that you're going to snap, and then the card's going to come back to the top of the deck. And then voila, it's on the top. But it's not really, it's in the second position from the top. So I'm, I'm going to leave a link on the screen so you guys can learn how to do that. But essentially, all you're doing is propping up the card in the back here. Or sorry, on top, you get a pinky break underneath the top card and what you're doing is as the decks open with the pinky break you're just sliding it just underneath into the second position but to the spectator there's going to be enough gap between the top card and this card that when you slide it in it looks like it's in the middle but in reality it's actually at the top of the deck and then you do a double lift flip it over and then you say look I'm going to wave my you know wave this card over the card in your hand and now I have the ten of hearts and ripped up in your hand it's actually your card the two of diamonds so it's a pretty simple trick um, it's it's kind of like a variation of here then there he's done this trick before but this time he did torn and restored I just saw it on Instagram I had a bunch of views and I figured that um, it, this would be interesting for you guys so um, I hope this trick is gonna work out for you and you can try this on your friends and family like I said I don't know when this video will be uploaded 
but it should be before New Year's, so if you guys are planning on doing any sort of that kind of stuff, maybe you can break out a deck of cards and impress some people. So, anyways guys, I hope you all enjoy the video, and as always, thanks for watching.